everyone, Pastor Sarah here for our On the Road worship. I know I missed last week and I apologize for that. I hope all is well wherever you are. Um, and I hope that you let me know if you have any prayer requests, if you have anything that you'd like us to know about, um, please uh, write me a message, send me an email. My email's on the website as well. Um, and uh, today we're, we're starting Advent. Uh, it's an exciting time to start uh, Advent. Uh, the rest of the world has already started Christmas. Uh, we in the church know that Christmas doesn't start until Christmas Eve. In fact, uh, the 12 days of Christmas are actually start on the 24th. And then, um, but Advent is this time of year of preparation for Christ, of waiting for Jesus, of waiting for um, the the wondrous joy that we have in Christ. And our uh, scripture today from Isaiah is is a... a uh, it's it's a prediction of, of Christ um, centuries before his birth. And uh, we have these wonderful, beautiful um, statements from Isaiah. And Isaiah's talking. The thing about prophecy in the Bible is um, the prophets don't know that they're... T- when, when, when we look back and we see Jesus, the prophet was looking um, much closer to home. You know, Isaiah was talking about... Uh, Israel, Israel was struggling, and they needed, they needed hope right then. Um, they were in the midst of of uh, exile and struggle, and and they needed hope, and uh, that is the comfort that Isaiah is talking about. And yet we look and we see, oh gosh, this is Christ as well. Um, it's one of the beautiful things about prophecy, is most prophets were writing about, you know, something very soon, something happening around them, uh, not thinking centuries ahead, and yet we look back and see, oh gosh, this this is connecting in other ways. It's one of the cool things about God. Um, the other thing that, that I want to talk about today is, you know, these prophecies, they make us think that um, God's got every detail of our lives figured out already. And while God being kind of like outside of time, and by kind of, I mean, outside of time, um, (laughs) we understand that God knows what's happening and what's going on and what will be and what was and all of these things. But at the same time, that it's not as though evil is something that God causes. Um, I often uh, have conversations with people who, who tell me, and I've been told myself, you know, oh, everything happens for a reason, right? Uh, you know, these bad, terrible things are happening for a reason. We, If we learn from it, you know, we have to learn from it kind of thing. And uh, yes, learning from bad experiences is a sign of maturity. It is a sign of, of joy and hope and um, growth as human beings, as Christians. But, you know... The evil in our world is not because God is teaching us a lesson. It is because there is evil in the world and the world is broken. Uh, take, for instance, you know, I uh, I know a lot of about grief because of my own grief over my grandmother's death. Well, my grandmother's death was not actually about me. I'm not so arrogant to think that my, you know, God had my grandmother die so that I would learn so that I could help other. Well, no, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm not that important. None of us are to be so important that somebody else's life would be taken for that reason. Um, but instead we learn and we grow in these kind of things. And, and the prophecies are these moments of God kind of breaking in and showing us, um, some of that knowledge and that foreknowledge and all of that of God, but really, it's about understanding that God is is greater in than all of it than we can think about. So some of the, these connections in our world and these kind of things, these are wonderful things that we uh, really appreciate about God. And yet, as we wait for Christ, and we wait in a second sense for Christ, we wait. We know that Christ came. We know that what Christ did for us um, in his life, and yet we wait for uh, that, that coming back, that, uh, that 
resolution of the world, that renewal of the world that uh, God has promised us. Um, and of course, we don't know when that's happening. Uh, and Jesus is pretty much tells us, never expect to know. <laughs> but uh, we seek God's kingdom as we go, no matter what. So I hope uh, if you have any questions on our On the Road this week, uh, you'll let me know. Uh, let me know if you have any prayer requests or in any other way you want to talk to me. I hope all is well. Bye.